Hey, Terence here. And because we're in lockdown and there's nothing better to do, I decided we're going to go paint the pool. It needs it real bad. So, expectations. I think that this is going to be about a 5 to 6 out of 10 difficulty. Like, I don't think it's going to be that hard. I've painted before, so how hard can it actually be? So, we've drained out the pool and this is what it looks like. Pretty horrible, really. You can see there's a bit of a stain in the back and that's what the pool normally looks like. So that's pretty hideous. And we've got a tiny little spa next to it. We've already, um, we've already water blasted it and washed it down with all sorts of chemicals. So it should be good for painting pretty soon, as in now. Well, I'm prepping the pool for a bit of painting. Um, and the first thing I gotta do is, you know, after cleaning it up, is I've got to do this tapey tapey things and um, just because my paintwork ain't great so I'm just trying to make sure that all of these little bits of, um, of tiles are protected from the paint uh, it's pretty dry so I'm gonna have a crack at uh, putting on some uh, what you call it I'm gonna have a crack at putting on some primer that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna put on some primer on that sucker all right, that's it. One of the things we had to do with the pool was to seal up all the cracks. And because it's a concrete pool, um, it's got all sorts of cracks in it. And I've basically put on some, um, what do you call it, some cement. Um, it, it's one of those like waterproof type cement things. And just tried to cover it up. It wasn't really leaking before anyway, but there were all sorts of little holes everywhere which needed to be kind of plugged up. And, um, you know, hopefully after we paint over it, we won't see those big, big black lines. And, and Darius and I were trying to work out where this pipe went. So we ended up doing the old scream test. We got Darius to stick his head, um, his ears on a pipe on the other side. And I went like this. Ah! So we're here in the pool room. And you see that pipe over there, that's being cut by the pool man. He insisted that that pipe went nowhere. And that hole I just showed you at the bottom of the pool, well, that's where that went to. So that's been cut away from this um, pool pump, which is probably why the pool went green so much, because there was no flow of water from the bottom of the pool. So yeah, that's kind of useful, Mr. Pipe, uh, Mr. Pool Man. Okay, so one of the things you got to care about before you actually paint the primer on is you want to make sure that your pool's actually dry. And so what I've done is I've stuck this bit of, um, uh, what you call it, like cellophane, you know, it's the, the cling wrap stuff. Um, stuck it on the floor and sort of left it here for a few hours. And you, I'm not sure if you can tell from the video because you probably won't be able to, but there's actually droplets of moisture on the inside. Tiny, 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 tiny drops. So probably shouldn't paint just yet. I'm gonna give it till tomorrow. At least the floor I shouldn't paint. I reckon the sides I can get away with, but that floor, I'm just gonna leave it for a little bit and see how we go. Maybe give it another day. Almost forgot to tell you guys about the paint we're using. Uh, we're using Luxapool paint with a color called Pacific Blue. So if you like the color, that we've got then that's uh, Luxapool uh, Pacific Blue and they come in two bits they come in um, like a part A and a part B and you got to mix part B into part A and pretty much after you do that it starts to harden like really really hard um, and because we've got the winter hardener and we're painting in summer so essentially this is going to harden within you know 10-15 minutes maybe 20 minutes or so. So it's about half the time, 20 minutes before it hardens. So the guy at the pool shop gave me a, uh, some advice, which is to chuck this too in a fridge, which is what we've done. We've left it sitting there overnight. So it keeps it a bit colder. It gives us maybe another 10 minutes. And I can say it's made a difference. I can feel the paint hardening towards the end. So mix those two in, uh, keep it in the fridge first. It'll give you a little bit more time before it hardens. They sell them in little bits, so three and a half liters at a go. And I recommend like mixing, then paint, mix, then paint, mix, then paint. Don't mix it all up 
because then you're just going to have three or four tubs of hard paint. We're painting the wall. We decided not to do the primer mainly because we didn't have it. Uh, it's eight in the morning right now and this thing sure has fumes so yeah if you like getting high this is kind of cool <laughs> all right we'll, we'll cut and show you later on like when we're done right that's pot number two done it's making good progress we got all the way around to that side and got that one there too looking pretty good Okay, so this is what the pool looks like after a single coat of paint so far. It's looking pretty good to me. I'll see if I can change the coloring so it's not so bright. I'm going to turn it down a bit so you can kind of get a sense of what's going on. Yeah, so this is the pool after one coat of paint. And uh, I'm going to say that that was pretty hard. It took us almost three hours. So we'll see tomorrow. All right, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Skies are nice and clear and blue. We're down for our second coat. We've only got two tubs of paint, so it's probably not going to quite stretch the whole lot, but we're hoping it will. Um, that's us vacuuming the pool and just making sure that we got every bit of debris off it um, before we give it a second coat. So we'll update you when we're done. See ya, bye. So we're down to our last tub of paint, and you can see. We've done that wall and all the walls along the side, so it ends right there. And we're yet to do the floor, so one last tub of paint to do that bit of floor. But apart from that, we should be all good. It's looking pretty good on the sides. It's looking like a pool. So that's not too bad. One last paint. Turns out the guy at the paint shop was um, right with his estimate. It should be okay. We may end up getting a, an extra tub just to patch up if there's anything that goes um, that didn't quite work out but it's looking pretty good all right so we've let it dry overnight and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down there pick up bits of debris and take the rest of the tape off which I, I tried a little bit of yesterday but it was a little bit warm and I figured I'll just do it today instead a um, couple of things I didn't actually cover the pool with the tarp uh, last night probably should have we've had bits of leaves drop in so i'm hoping nothing's really stuck to the bottom i was advised to cover it with a tarp but i didn't because i was lazy uh but i reckon it's okay um it's not a really windy day even though the pool's covered with lots of trees we've had hardly any leaves falling and this paint that goes at the bottom it's like a really thick glue really and it dries really really quickly so hopefully nothing's permanent at all um, I'll get down there and get it done now All right, finally we've finished the pool and we've just filled it with water. It's still a little bit cold, but it's looking pretty good. Overall, I'm gonna say this was a pretty tough job, but, um, but totally worth it, looks awesome. Now to jump in. all right 
So thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got something out of it. I thought I'd make it because, um, you know, I was quoted a brick ton uh, to paint it. So someone quoted me a lot, like thousands, to paint the pool. And I figured, copy that hard. So here's the final answer. I reckon... It was probably not quite a five or a six. I think it was more like a seven um, in difficulty. What was challenging about it was trying to time it so that you had five days, you know, in a row of, of good weather. Um, so it requires a bit of patience. Um, the painting itself wasn't too hard, but it was really tedious with the cleaning and just making sure and feeling confident that you can, in fact, paint on it because you don't want any of it wet. And uh, anyway, you watched the video already. But yeah, if you like this video, um, you know, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to my first thousand subscribers. Um, I've just changed the channel name from Foodie Tea to Tasting Life. And the reason why is I used to do a lot of cooking stuff. Um, and I've made a number of changes to my life, which I want to start sharing with you guys. Um, I want to get more out of my life and I want to get more out of exploring this world and trying different things out. Um, I've made a quite, uh, one of the big changes is I really got into fitness and I'm going to be posting a whole bunch of that sort of fitness stuff. So I'm still going to do some food stuff. I'm going to do some fitness stuff. And then I'm going to do a whole bunch of content around, you know, what I'm doing around the house and everyday life. Um, just to give you an alternative way uh, or an alternative view on how you might want to live your life or rather how I want to live my life. And, and I just want to share that with you guys. So if you enjoyed this, hit like, hit subscribe, um, and I'll, I'll catch you guys in a bit. See ya. Bye.